Hi everyone! Today I'm in uh, what used to be an unusual location for me, but it's becoming quite uh, standard now. I'm in Hatipiersport Dam in the estate called Zanadu and I am featuring a gorgeous four bedroom home with a study and uh, with absolutely breathtaking views of the mountains with its own swimming pool and it is in this very very special estate called Zanadu it's across from the windmill and everyone that comes to Hearties knows about shopping in the windmill we'll probably do a feature there as well this home is in absolutely immaculate condition and I can't wait to show it to you come and let's go and have a look I am standing on the street just outside of the home and what you, we can see is there's a security sliding gate, automated, that leads you to, into the front garden. Plenty of space for guest vehicles to park in front, plus a double garage and then the front entrance of the home and a manicured front garden. This owner is very, very particular about uh, looking after the garden. It is absolutely gorgeous, fully established, beautifully looked after. There's the lush lawn. There's also the flower beds in absolutely perfect condition, some trees. So this is what welcomes your guests into the home. Really special. And then uh, the garden wraps around, so there are pathways on both sides of the house that we're going to have a look at shortly. Also in front we have a front patio, there is also a massive patio at the back as well. So let's head for the front and the entrance of the home. What you see also from the entrance is there is a balcony on the top and then a double door, wood as well as uh, wrought iron that allows you also to open the top section of the door, the window, to get some fresh air into the space. Now we're into the entrance hall. What you see immediately to the left is the garage space, nice and uh, ample, wide entrance hall with uh, plenty of space for a couple of chairs, as you can see here, as well as uh, a chest of drawers to put your nicks and knacks, plus then a corridor leading into the guest toilet, we're going to see it shortly, and then a pathway leading into the living spaces downstairs. This is a very big home, you'll see there's another living space upstairs as well. But just to have a look here, there, are, there is a dining room, open plan with the kitchen, and it is an eight-seater. And then the sliding doors to the patio that we saw as we were coming into the house. The patio also has space for a four-seater table, looks out onto the garden and even space for a couple of chairs as well. The dining room table is an eight-seater and it is in the double volume space of the house. So there is uh, quite a nice view of the double volume and the balustrades from the staircase. Then it opens into the kitchen there's a breakfast nook area, which is quite nice. See uh, three chairs here, you can have your breakfast here. Then there's the kitchen space, plenty of cupboards I see, and they are solid wood, it's cherry wood, gas top and electric oven. And it's AG, so excellent quality. There's also an extractor fan and there are plenty of other cupboards plus quite ample countertop space and this is all facing the garden with windows opening out so again 
with a gorgeous view from your kitchen window. There are two additional ovens here, so there's a microwave and there's another electric oven, space for a double door fridge and a nice uh, walk-in pantry and then the scullery section and you'll notice here there's one appliance and there's a reason for that we have a separate laundry room so that's amazing you don't have to do your laundry here the entire house also has underfloor heating though i'm not sure how many people want to use that in today's prices but you've got it and then there is a door leading out from the scullery section and uh, taking you into the space outside that uh, you can hang your laundry as well as there is a massive storeroom under the house and when I say massive it's literally the size of an apartment massive back into the dining room and let's walk into the lounge area another beautiful room it's also overlooking the lush garden and the mountains behind we'll have a look shortly and the room has uh, its furniture already in showing us that we can definitely fit in large couches we can uh, put our tv here and we can enjoy the warmth of the gas fireplace that uh, is um, very well situated in the middle between the dining room and the living room and there is another room coming out from that living room and this is a bar area very nicely done again this cherry wood cabinetry with uh, also glass to display all your beautiful glassware so this is your bar area and imagine open these windows here and you can serve your drinks out onto the patio very nice design tucked away but still part of the entertainment spaces folding doors and one point i forgot to mention with the other patio plus with this patio there are roller blinds and those roller blinds are semi see-through so you still enjoy the view of your garden but at the same time if it's a windy day or a rainy day you can close them and you can protect your furniture and still enjoy the outdoors there is a built-in braai here and uh, also a basin so you can get water here it's a massive very deep patio you can see there's a big table here another eight seater and still a lot of space left for additional chairs and this is the window that i pointed out from the bar area and yeah there's a lot you can do in this space and of course you would want to spend most of your time here it is absolutely gorgeous the garden we are quite elevated absolutely amazing view of the mountains we'll see that from the upstairs balcony as well and then the garden is uh, on three levels three or four levels depends if you want to count the patio as one of them so i'm taking four steps down and this here is uh, a paved area with uh, sandstone tile and all of this overlooks the sparkling gorgeous swimming pool there's a water feature as well here by the swimming pool now take it down now to show you the rest of the garden here is a view of the patio and just a view also of the side of the garden this is where you would step out onto from the fourth bedroom that we've got uh, that i will still show you on the ground floor i've now taken four more steps and here is another big garden space that is on the level with the swimming pool stunning stunning this garden is so immaculate it's incredible and i'm basically now walking around the swimming pool and just showing you the water feature the pool gets all the sun throughout 
and uh, it's so close to the patio you can enjoy it all summer look at the view of your house and now let's take a couple of more steps this is now the bottom part of the garden this house is on a green belt so i'll show you now there is a door that uh, leads out to the park area so you literally from your own garden this lush garden space that they've created here it's absolute perfection you can see this owner has green fingers and then a couple of paths that she's created just to make this more interesting and this is uh, almost also a shadier area so it invites you to sit down and read a book here and then there's your gate and you out onto the green belt and the park that this estate has to offer a really gorgeous space and now i'm going to take a quick step to the side of the house and just show you also the storeroom that i was talking about so you can see i wasn't joking it is massive it's almost like a little doll's room you can put a lot in here right really massive and i have to a highlight again this house is in such immaculate condition it's uh, beautifully maintained and it is really moving ready now i'm gonna head back into the house and we're going to see the rest of the ground floor and then head upstairs as well just a quick couple of steps i really like the fact that the home has been situated on an elevation you are getting the amazing views of the mountains and you really want to sit here all the time there we go absolutely beautiful back into the lounge area dining area a quick look up there's a window just above the dining brings in even more natural light and now back towards the entrance quick look at the guest toilet nice and tucked away but spacious with a basin and it, because it's behind the staircase we walk past the staircase some storage under the stairs as well we're definitely not lacking storage here and now a quick look at the fourth bedroom downstairs cupboards king size bed own door going out into the garden that i mentioned and the view of the mountain and then this one is en suite with a shower and a toilet perfect guest bedroom it's also right next to the entrance the garages so if you have guests staying for a bit longer, they can be nice and private. And now let's head up and have a look at what the house has to offer upstairs. And again, I just want to point out massive window on the half landing of the staircase, giving you plenty of sunlight, wrought iron uh, with a touch of wood balustrade. There is uh, tiling upstairs with the exception of the bedrooms and uh, there are three bedrooms upstairs two full bathrooms a study a laundry wait and see pajama lounge ample space and the entire house is wrapped up with balconies so the pajama lounge takes you out onto the balcony that we saw from the entrance and from the front garden so we're gonna go there now sliding doors taking us into the balcony beautiful big balcony six-seater table and views of the manicured front garden there is again a stunner I keep looking at how perfect this garden is and back through the balcony but I just want to point out it also leads 
into the main bedroom, but we'll go and have a look at the main bedroom shortly. Let's go back into the pyjama lounge where we were. There we go. And the pyjama lounge is also adjacent to that double volume with the dining room just under. So quite convenient if you want to call for coffee. You're right next to the kitchen. Really nice and clever and lots of natural light once again. Okay, so here is the study. Beautiful cabinetry along the one entire wall. The study is with um, carpets and it's a very big room. So if you are in need of another bedroom, you do have that option right here. There is a massive desk in the middle, but easily to put a bed in here and you already have the cupboards, you're sorted. Very simple procedure. This is the balcony on the opposite end of the house. We've just seen the front garden balcony. This is the view from your study. How breathtaking is that? I think I'll do a feature of the balcony shortly. And now I'm just going to step from the study into the main bedroom and carpet again for the main bedroom, but plush carpet, absolutely perfect condition, soft, comfortable. It will make your warm and cozy in winter time. And uh, this bedroom has access to that front balcony that I've just been. So we've got that. And then through the bathroom, that's the ensuite bathroom, you'll see now your uh, access to the balcony at the back with the mountain view. Also, plenty of cupboards. There's one set of cupboards right here. There's another walk-in closet right here with a ton of additional cupboard space and the window. I love the fact that there's a window to bring in fresh air as well as light. And then another set of cupboards in the bathroom plus a beautiful, immaculate bathroom. Freestanding bath with a handheld shower, double basin, beautiful big shower. And this is right next to the door that takes us to the balcony. Uh, before I forget, yes, there is a toilet as well. <laughs> and now let's step out onto this balcony. The same as downstairs, there are roller blinds here. You can't even see that it's a blind. It kind of just blocks the breeze. But this is the balcony upstairs. It's basically the size of the patio under us. And uh, this is the view of the garden with the swimming pool. And if you look up, the view of the dam. So that's the dam right there. And then the mountains, we are surrounded by mountains. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got the windmill right ahead of us there. So you can see how close we are to the shops. And you can see in front, this is the green belt. This is all the estate. It's all Zanadu. Absolutely magnificent. Really, the location is great. The privacy, the trees, the greenery, and the space in this house. It's uh, just over 400 square meter, the house. So you can imagine you have all the space that you need. Let's walk now back in through the study area and back into the pyjama lounge and have a look at the two additional bedrooms. So three bedrooms upstairs, plus the study, plus the full bathroom shared by the two uh, kiddies' bedrooms. So this is another one of the bedrooms, another stunning big space. This is a king-size bed view of the front garden there we go and uh, plenty of cupboards as well and this bedroom shares the full bathroom that's right next door there we go 
very generous shower wet basin more cupboards here a bath and the toilet and everything is immaculate and just in front of us here is the laundry room with a cupboard and uh, it's full connections the tumble dryer the washing machine the geyser is just above us so how clever is that because you always do your laundry upstairs you don't have to carry clothes up and down it is absolutely perfect and then this is now the last bedroom so the fourth bedroom in the house the third bedroom upstairs this one has the mountain view and uh, again massive bedroom with a plenty of cupboard space and uh, a gorgeous gorgeous view this is why you want to live here look at this absolutely stunning love it gorgeous house perfect condition moving ready price to go at 4.2 million give me a call and let's make it yours